Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we're gonna be discussing our new 40 foot build. Let's get started. Okay, so on this build, it's gonna be pretty cool. We've got our brand new, or it's actually a used 40 foot, but in pretty decent condition. Gonna be the new model to our previous model that's sitting right next to it. So this one, uh, as you can see, my mom started building a little patio thing. We gotta put that wood insert back in, so don't mind all that. This is still kind of uh, getting tweaked with some new adjustments to it. So anyway, this new 40 foot model is going to model the floor plan of our previous build, which you guys have seen with everything we've done uh, over the years, redesigning, building new ones. That floor plan seems to work the best for long-term use. Now we have a new Airbnb type model or short-term rental uh, model that we're building in Texas. We'll walk you through that one later, but it's uh, the main difference is, is not as much closet space and a smaller bathroom, which you don't really need if you're a short-term tenant. In this one, this is a long-term tenant type of situation. It's got a larger bathroom, a full-size shower, and also uh, some decent closet space in there uh, and the option for adding laundry. So this model is kind of like colonial country type of uh, architecture uh, and design. So the new one we're doing over there it is gonna have a similar floor plan on the inside, but the main difference you're gonna see on that one is we're gonna have floor to ceiling glass like our build out in Texas. So we're again gonna be using those storefront glass insulated and impact rated frames, which are gonna be super cool. They're commercial. Um, we custom order them from Argentina. Okay, sorry truck just came Baja and in. It looked like it was turning into my house, but they're not. So guard dogs down. We're trying to design something that is used for multiple different. So we really want to build one floor plan that can be used for multiple uh, different scenarios. So we're going to try and not put any windows down this entire one of the sides. So in theory, you could take two of our units and butt them up against each other and create a duplex type of environment. Uh, or if you have like a property that goes uphill, you can stagger them or you can kind of jump them up the hill and all the views are looking in one direction. So they're looking over the previous house. So that was kind of the design we had in mind when, when coming up with this one. But again, similar floor plan, just different window layout. So this is gonna be the entry instead of the side entry that we have on the one next door. We're gonna have floor to ceiling glass in here. You'll have a big entry door that swings open that's the full size, the full height. And you'll kind of swing in. Hopefully the audio doesn't get too echoey. But this, this will all be glass, bring in that natural light. You'll have like a couch that sits right here. So sorry, the door will be over on that side, uh, not on this side. But you'll have a couch sitting here you're gonna have your TV mounted up on this wall and then starting approximately right about here all the way down to here will be a full glass wall looking out this side. This was just a temporary uh, hole that we cut testing out the, uh, the torch cutter to see if we could use it, which we're gonna go over in a different video. But uh, then, then you'll kind of have uh, your, your kitchen cabinets all down this section. And then, sorry, kitchen's gonna be on this wall. So you'll have couch, then your kitchen running down this wall, somewhere into this vicinity. Then your bathroom is gonna start here. So you'll have a pocket door that slides inside the wall, just like that other floor plan. Then that will walk you into this vestibule walkthrough bathroom. And you're gonna have a shower, closet, vanity, uh, and your toilet room. Then you'll have another little partition wall with another pocket door that brings you into your bedroom with another floor to ceiling glass wall, but it's only gonna be a little sliver one, which is actually gonna be an entry door as well. So you have a means of egress from your bedroom. And then your bed will be all the way from wall to wall with some shelves built in or something, and then a TV mounted up on the wall. And then this back wall above the bed is gonna have a big chunk of glass. 
So it's gonna be really cool. You're gonna get plenty of natural light between the entry door there and the glass here that it doesn't feel too closed off. And uh, you don't have any windows, but you'll have some nice little three inch LED lights built into the ceilings. Uh, or the ceiling through the, the entire bathroom area. And then out in this main area with your kitchen and your living room, you're gonna have tons of natural light because this is gonna be a huge floor to ceiling glass and virtually this much light coming through the front because it's gonna be all, the whole thing is gonna be filled with glass. So this is gonna be a really cool build. Um, we did a video where I kind of walked you through on that one where I had you guys comment in the, uh, in the comments if you liked the white shaker cabinets or going to the matte black. A lot of people said black, a lot of people said keeping it light, so make sure to hit the comments and say which one you like better. Okay, so we'll actually, on the community section, make sure you check on there, because we do post quite often. Our recent, we, we started, we, 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 recently we started posting on the community section more often. So we'll put a poll up there where you can actually choose the, should I put my phone on silent. Uh, you can choose whether to go with the matte black cabinets or the white shaker. Sorry, hang on one second. We have a guy stuck at the airport from our Texas property. Dude, I'm in the middle of filming right now. We had a guy that missed a flight this morning leaving the Texas property. You'll meet Mason at some point, but he's helping with the workshops. Speaking of which, if you haven't checked out uh, containingluxury.com, we launched our new website. You, if you're interested in learning how to build container homes, we run the workshops down in uh, San, uh, pretty much San Antonio, Texas, but it's a city called Helotus, just outside of San Antonio. But we've got 10 acres down there. Um, we've got bunk houses built, and you can go down and check out how to build the, uh, the bunk houses. We'll teach you from insulation, framing, electrical. Uh, we're gonna have future cutout courses. Um, that will be a separate course. We just launched an off-grid solar package. So people can, it's a two-day course. You can go down, uh, learn from the solar technician that's doing all the solar on all of our units. Uh, he's designed a nice, simple off-grid system that's literally plug and play. But you can go down, you can learn about the different solar systems so that you can make whatever modifications you wanna make, more batteries, less battery, uh, more solar, less solar and then you can actually purchase the system directly from the solar contractor and he's designed it so it's like DIY galore. Um, but really cool, because you can see some of our bunkhouses and how they function, all that kind of stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, check out containingluxury.com. So that's all we got, guys. We hope that you will stay tuned and always like, subscribe, and comment, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Containing Luxury, out! <laughs>